In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to use the auto sum, the average, the max, the min, and the count functions in Excel. So first, let's zoom in so you can see this better. And in this column, let's write some numbers. So let's say 15, 24, 74, or 73, 45, 68, 79, 32, and 96. So let's say if we want to find the total or the sum of these numbers. So what we could do is type in equal and then sum. So that's the auto sum feature. And then select all the numbers that you wish to add. And so that's a simple way in which you could use the auto sum feature. If you just want to add up a few numbers that you don't want to place in separate cells, for example, if you want to add up 24, 42, and 15. You could just put those numbers into the cell and get that sum immediately. So you can add up as many numbers as you want to using the auto sum feature. Now the next function that we're going to talk about is calculating the average of a group of numbers. So if you want to find the average of the eight numbers that we have listed above, you can type in equal, average, and then select all the data in this column. And so the average of those eight numbers is 54. Now, just like before, we can calculate the average of any numbers that's not listed in separate cells. So let's say if we want to find the average test score. Let's say a student has an 84, a 92, and a 77, or let's say 78. So the average of those three test scores is 84.6667. And you can see it here. Those are the average of the three numbers that we use to get this answer. And so that's a quick way in which you can calculate the average from a list of numbers that's already entered in separate cells, or if you just want to find the average, put in everything into one single cell. Now let's get rid of this. Now let's use our next function, the max function. So if we type in equal, max, and then select the eight numbers above, this will give us the maximum of the eight numbers in that list, which as we could see is 96. Or we could do it separately. Let's say if we have the numbers 43, 17, 26, and 35, it's going to give us the maximum of those four numbers, which we can clearly see that the highest number in that list is 43. So that's how you could use the maximum function. And the next one is the minimum feature, or the minimum function. And we could use that in the same way. So if we write in equal, minimum, and then parentheses, selecting those eight numbers, it's going to give us the lowest number, which is 15. Or we could do it this way, 23, 45, and 7. The lowest of those three numbers will be 7. And so that's how you could use the maximum and the minimum functions in Excel. So the last function that we need to talk about is the count function. So if you type in equal, count, and then select everything in this list, we have a total of eight numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as you can see here. Now, there's really no point in using this feature because you can count it as you write it. But if you want to, you could do it that way too. Now, let's try another example. So let's use the autofill feature, starting with 100, and let's increase it by 25. And then let's extend this pattern up to this point. And let's also do another column. Let's say starting with 200 and then we're going to go up by 50. And let's extend it. So if you right click the button at the bottom and drag it, it's going to extend the pattern. So here we're going to write, let me zoom out a little. So let's write the total, the average, the max, the min, and the count. Now let's do the same for here. Let's start with 
300, and this time let's decrease it by 20. And then let's extend it. So to find the total for the first column, column E, we can just use equal sum and then select everything we have here. So that'll give us the sum. Now to determine the average, let's type in equal average and then select everything that we see here. So that's the average. And then to find a maximum, we could just select it, but we can clearly see that the max is 425. And the minimum is going to be 100. And then let's count the numbers in this list. So this goes up to 14. Now what we could do is use the autofill feature to extend it so we don't have to do it again. So here we can see that we're adding up everything from E1 to E14 and here everything from F1 to F14. Then use the autofill feature to extend it so you can quickly uh, calculate the total, the average, the max, the min for all of the columns here. And so that's how you can use uh, these functions within Excel. Thanks for watching.